The new design workspace provides a collection of tools which are presented in a logical order to help users create successful renderings and animated scenes. It was designed to ease the learning curve of the software. The design workspace can be used as a guide or a quick access to the main features of the software needed for visualization. When launching 3ds Max 2016 for the first time, if you're not using a startup template, you will have to manually activate the design workspace from the quick access toolbar. From the Get Started tab, moving towards the right, you are introduced to a suggested order of tasks recommended for visualization. Following the tabs, you can easily discover the basic tools of 3ds Max, such as object inspections, basic modeling, material edits, object placement, populate tool set, camera views, lighting, and rendering. If you want to have the design workspace as part of your default UI settings for subsequent launch of the software, simply go to the Manage Workspace and save the design standard as your default state. To speed the scene creation, you might consider using a template as a startup scene. Notice that some of the templates that are shipped with the software already use the design workspace layout. This is the case for the sample architectural outdoor template, for example. However, if the design workspace is not included in the template you are planning to use, simply open the template manager, select the template you want to edit, and make sure it is using the design standard workspace and off you go. From importing design data to creating final high quality stills or animations, the design workspace in 3ds Max 2016 introduces the main tools of the software in a logical way and guides you toward a successful visualization.